hello guys welcome back to my channel in this lesson we will do more examples based upon parallel and perpendicular lines so we have example here given that y equals to this determine the equation of the straight line that is perpendicular to this line and which passes through origin so a part we are given line equals to 2 over 3x plus 2 first of all we need to know the gradient so gradient of this line is 2 over 3 right so we are looking for equation perpendicular to this so equation uh, per gradient of the perpendicular gradient of perpendicular line will be equals to negative 3 over 2 now i think you will now easily find find out the gradient you see you need to take the negative reciprocal change the sign and swap the uh, numerator and denominator to find the gradient of the perpendicular line so i have changed the sign this is positive so now this is negative numerator and we swap that so that means reciprocal of that so then equation of perpendicular this is the symbol of perpendicular perpendicular line is equal to y equals to mx plus c so y equals to minus 3 over 2x plus c now we are given that this line passes through the origin so passes through this line passes through origin that is 0 0 so when x is 0 y is also 0 so this will become 0 plus c so that means c is 0 so equation of the line is negative 3 over 2x plus 0 means we will not write down so this is the equation of perpendicular right so that was part a now part b you have perpendicular we are looking for equation of line that is perpendicular the line and which passes through this again for perpendicular line we already got the gradient gradient of perpendicular line gradient of perpendicular line is uh, uh, negative 3 over 2 so equation of line will have y equals to mx that is 3 over 2x plus c now this line passes through uh, what passes through negative 3 and 1 negative 3 and 1 so that means this is x and y y is 1 and x is uh, minus 3 plus c so from here c is 1 this 3 times 3 9 plus 9 over 2 that means 2 uh, plus 9 this is 11 over 2 c is 11 over 2 so the equation of line is from here that is going to be y equals to negative 3 over 2x plus 11 over 2 right so we have another example here which is tricky one uh, show that the points a b c could not be vertices of rectangle ABC. First of all, you need to know what kind of rectangle the having the shape is. This is rectangle, right? So this is A, B, C, and D, right? So we are given coordinates of A is negative 3, 6, B is negative 12 and negative 4, and C is 8, 5. Let's say this is X and Y. So now he said it not could not be reverses of rectangle but we let's suppose that this is a rectangle so it should look like this. So now what are the properties of rectangle that means that these angles should be 90 if it is a rectangle rectangle right. So meaning that this line AB should be perpendicular to C, uh, BC ok. So if ABCD is a rectangle then AB should be perpendicular to to BC right so you see this is how we relate the lines to uh, any kind of question the concept that you have learned so if rectangle ABC if ABCD is a rectangle so that means this line should be perpendicular meaning that the slope of this product of slopes should be 
so therefore product of gradients should be negative 1 right so let's find out the gradient first then we will see is the product negative 1 or not so now gradient of a b is y2 minus y1 change in y over change in x uh, 6 minus minus 4 over minus 3 minus minus 12 so 6 plus 4 over minus 3 plus 12 6 plus 4 is 10 this is negative 1 so this is negative 10 right now gradient of BC gradient of BC we will take these two points here so 8 minus uh, sorry negative 5 minus 4 uh, this minus this and then 8 minus minus 12 so this is negative 5 plus 4 this is 8 plus 12 negative 1 over 20 so we got the gradient of both lines now the product of gradient product of gradients is negative 10 times negative 1 over 20 which is half and not equal to 1 right so it's not equal to 1 so therefore a b and b c are not perpendicular right so if the lines are not perpendicular that means so we conclude from here that a b c are not the vertices of rectangle of a rectangle right i hope you understood everything i have explained it very slowly so let me know in the comment section if you like this uh, the series of the concepts so in this uh, full playlist playlist we have covered the uh, all about the lines perpendicular lines parallel lines and the with the examples so let me know in the comment section what concept should I cover the next one. Thank you so much guys for your support. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. God bless you guys.